Hi, this is Miss Mitchell and Mr. Leatherwood. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna talk about using arrays to recognize prime and composite numbers. We get more money. What? We get arrays? No. No, not that kind of arrays. No. Okay. Arrays. Um, we're gonna start with the array of seven, and we know that we can make a seven by one. So I'm gonna write that in my list of factors for seven. And I'm going to leave room in case I come up with any more factors because I'm not sure if there are any more. So I'm going to go back to my array and I'm going to try to make a 2 by something for the 7. So now that I'm finished, I'm going to ask Mr. Leatherwood if he thinks that this is an array and to tell me why and why not. I'm going to go with no because right here we're missing something. Or an array needs to have even numbers, right? Mm -hmm. What shape should it end up being? It should be a rectangle. It should. And some would argue that what if it's a square? Does that count? Well, since a square is a special rectangle, then I'd say yes. All right. So since 2 doesn't fit, we're not going to write 2 on our factors of 7. So then I'll try for 3 by something. And since I have an irregular shape, I don't have a rectangle, then I know that 3 is not a factor of 7. Would you agree, Mr. Leatherwood? I would. <laughs> All right, so then I'll try a 4. Again, I can't make a rectangle. I can't make an array, so 4 is not a factor of 7. I would try 5. Hmm, still hmm. not working. 6? Hmm. Nope. I'm seeing a pattern. How about 7? Do you think that's an array, Mr. Leatherwood? I do, because I do. if you look really close, <laughs> I see a rectangle. I do, too. Okay, so this would be different than the rectangle we started with, because if you'll remember, it began like this. So we could only make one, two different arrays. And if you'll notice on our list of factors, we have two factors, exactly two which from earlier you'll remember that a number that has exactly two numbers, two factors, is a prime number. Woohoo! Woo! All right, now we're gonna look at the factors of 15. So of course, I have my 15 by one, so then I could go to my factor list, one by 15, then I can try for a two. I almost see a rectangle. Almost, almost. There's a rectangle. There is, but, oh. Snikey. Not going to work. So, we'll try a three. <gasps> Does that one work? Woohoo! I have one, two, three, four, five by three. So, my two factors will be three times five. Let's try four. Let's try four. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, oh, so sad. sad. Five. <gasps> Woohoo! That works. On my factor list, though, I've already listed five and three, so do I need to list it again? No, ma'am. No, but I do have another array to do it. So, so far we had one, two, three different ways, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and skip because I know the factors of 15 end here. So I'm going to skip to a 15 by 1. Is that another array? It's a rectangle. It is. So I found four different arrays and I have four factors, which is more than two, which means 15 is a composite number. Composite number. Yay. Yay. All right, we also have over here the final arrays for both 7 and 15. And you will note that 7 has exactly two arrays. And it has exactly two factors. Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> and 15 has four arrays and four factors.
Sweet pickles. So we can tell just by looking at a raise of a number, if it has exactly two, and that's the only two ways that you can make that number, then it's a prime number. If it has more than two arrays, it's a composite number. Composite. All right. All right. I think we're done. See ya. See ya.